Stop being what a I, meanie. Madison, where's my belt? Have you ever used the belt as discipline? I have used it, yes. Right. On which children? All of them. On all of them? What I usually do is, like, like with the little baby here, I can use this because that will help. I'll just kind of like pop it like that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't do even it harder. try that. No, you do it harder. You can no. ask mom. You put your legs right. around those. Yeah. Right, like that. Yeah. And then all you have is the rear end right here. Please don't use your child to show me. But... No, but I'm just saying, I'm trying to do them the way my, my mom raised all of us. I mean, I talked back, but I also got spankings for it, and I understood that. A moment later, two of the girls were roughhousing on Dad's lap. <laughs> hey, hey, you just, hey, you don't bite. You don't bite. <laughs> Instead of Dad explaining the importance of not to behave like that, he smacked his young child in the mouth. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I'm seeing this. There are some serious issues that need to be addressed here, and you're going to see if this isn't dealt with, a repeat of history over and over again. Okay. Let's talk about the first thing I noticed. Phil, I don't know what century you're living in. Your behavior is, is completely chauvinist. This isn't about you standing up on your soapbox and saying a woman's place. What do you mean a woman's place? And the money that she earns contributes alongside your money to raise your family. It's not fair. No. Let's talk about Morgan. The man who raised her since she was three years old calls her a slut and called her a hoe yesterday. No, what I was saying was I don't want her to dress like That's one. That's what you called her. I'm not saying I called her a slut. I said if you want to dress like one, is what I said. I was there. That's what I said. Phil. That, that's what I'm saying. You can't, that's what I'm trying to, that. Phil. All right. Phil. I'm saying. I don't even think you know what you say when you're angry. You fly off the handle. You're like a ball to a red flag. Do you think she flag. should show her cleavage at 14? She wasn't. Let's talk about discipline. You're not raising your children to think smart and make better choices. You get out the never belt or you smack them and then you wonder why they smack each other. With these kids being raised in a dysfunctional environment that's hostile, they're living in constant earthquakes. It's beyond sad because it's breaking spirits. Phil, your language is despicable. Overpowering, dominating, fueled by anger, you are a bully. And all you're doing is breaking down your relationships, your marriage, and causing more and more destruction. Oh, you're ripping this house like a tornado, like you have never seen. And you allow this to happen. You stand back. And the reason you gave me? Because I want my family to be together. That's the price you're prepared to pay, is it? Just to keep your family all under one roof, you're prepared to destroy and break the spirits. If you're not prepared to be that parameter, to put that boundary in place, to say, hold on a minute, Phil, we need to talk about this. Hold on a minute here. This is what I expect from the pair of you before I even begin. Okay. I expect 100% commitment. I expect an open mind. Right. I expect you to accept the change. I expect you both to listen to me yeah. and hard work. Because trust me, this ain't going to be no walk in the park. Oh, yeah. I expect that. If you cannot give that to me, then this doesn't go down. It's as simple as that. We're ready. That's what I expect from the pair of you. Can you give that? Yes, ma'am. Give that and more. Oh. It's not working. 